G'day everybody and welcome back for some more Terraformers from Mars. Welcome back Shadow from the Murder Tube. Let me out! Ah! <laughs> Where did you how go? Did you, how'd you do that? Over there. How did you, what did you bounce off of? You practically hit the ceiling. You okay? Uh, Are you surprised I've I got my helmet so. off? I'm surprised I'm not dead. Yeah. I wanted to show you it was safe out here, so I took my helmet off. Oh. Oh, I would have welcomed the Iranian offlords if they were, uh, all right. I wanted yeah. to safe show you it. it's safe out here, so I got my grinder ready. Yeah, as safe as it ever is with us here. <laughs> but yeah, um, we, we kept you, we kept you alive. And let me show you what I did. I, I did some useful things with your plants. You oh, that's wrong. Sorry. Just ruined the atmosphere. <laughs> Muscles aren't quite working. Who threw stairs at me? You threw stairs at you. Didn't you oh. drop those? I think they came from Capex, though, oh. actually. Yeah, it seems likely. <laughs> He's still got his giant bucket of dirt attached to him. Come, 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 come. So, I made a very Spartan dining room that I thought you would probably add to. Uh, we've got some, we've got some food in the vending machine. That's now inside here. What? What is that? A brain? That's uh, rice. Yeah, unlikely story. It's rice. Mm, that looks like a brain to me. I mean, brain, rice, whatever. Uh, I piped it over so that when when either of us are cooking over here at the microwave, we can just throw it in here and it goes straight in the vending machine. Make it convenient. Ah, pumpkin. And you can see how well the plants are all growing. They've been doing really well, even though it is breathable in what here. What is this? What's what? Why is there a line of tomato, corn, and three times soybeans? Pretty sure you did that. Hmm. It, oh, those were the... They're the only things that we hadn't grown yet. Um, so we were trying to start getting up to having some seeds of those. Like the tomatoes. We only had one tomato seed, remember? So I just filled mm -hmm. the other pots with some other things to try and make use of them while they were empty before the tomatoes grow. Tiffy, why are you using your jetpack in here? Well, oh, hang on. How did Capac get up there with that one? I jumped. Did you? Yep. Um, I, I, oh, here you go. It's low gravity, Tiffy. You can jump that high. <sighs> apparently not. <laughs> well, apparently you can't, but we can. Oh. <laughs> this has become a new game. I figured I would stop in... I would let you take over again the plant side of things because I wanted to go mess around with the terraforming thing, if that's okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. The, um, I'd be happy to here. take off the plants again. Yeah. The very powerful and very dangerous Is everybody happy for us to cycle the airlock? <laughs> yep. Do we have a choice? Capac, close your helmet. <laughs> oh, why did you remind him? What? Because it's funnier if he freaks out, messes it up, and then gets hurt if I've said something. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's a vacuum in yeah, here. Actual working on this room. Is it actually vacuum? It is. Is it fully everywhere? Let's see. Let's see did if we, we fix that we weird corner. I think we've done it, Nev. Oh yeah. No. It's saying nil everywhere here. We just got to go into this rooms. weird yeah. corner. That's probably stupid. Oh no, no, it's not. This is this is fixed now. It's no longer There's considered a lot of part space of the outside. Here. Yeah, because that's what was being weird last time. Yeah, I think we've got vacuum nev. <clears throat> Very good. It's time to drill out the remaining of the other room and uh, break something again. Oh yeah. Um. All right. So before we go do that drilling nev, so I'll help you with that drilling. You've already got the vent in here though, don't you? Yeah, it's oh, not. Yeah. I, I was. I need to put up power. I was working on okay. that when we ended last night. All right. Yeah, so we'll get time. we'll get the power into it and then. Um, I'll help you drill out this, this space, and then we can, then I can go and do my terraforming thing after that. Hey, like, do you need your dirt thing, or can I borrow it rather than making a new one? Uh, I guess you can borrow it. Um, how does it work? Uh, click on things. <laughs> uh, why? Wait, you gotta turn it on first. Yeah, no, I, I was just asking you to describe how it worked so that I didn't immediate so they didn't have to faff around and practice i chose you a cube and when you when you can put dirt there it's green and when you click it puts dirt in it and how do you collect more dirt 
Um, it, well, it's got like 64 dirt in the canister, so that should last for a while. But if I do use that up, because I'm planning on making something relatively large? No, I can't remember. I think he used a drill. Okay. Shadow, Hello. did you mean to put Thank a you. kit railing into the food vending machine? <laughs> Me? No. I... Well, you're... I assumed it was you. What? I did not even interact with the vending machine yet. I... Well, I'm not starving, but... Oh, who put who put that in there then? I don't know. Who's been making railings? I made two railings, but I didn't take them into the food area. I was the last last person to use the vending machine, uh, but unless wait, yeah. unless no, Tim. that wouldn't have worked because I did couldn't have swapped with something that was in there because I waited for it to come out before I picked it up. Oh, you made an oven. Yeah. Oh, there's the oven. Oh, so it's not plugged in or anything. Um, uh, it is plugged into power. I'm doing the shoots now. Yeah, because the shoot is inaccessible in here. I have to get you to teach me how to use the automated system once you set it up. Uh, it's quite simple, really. It is just like using a auto lathe, but then with food. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Indeed. Oh, it's so good being able to feed and water yourself and not need someone to force feed you. I should be in the cryo tube more often. Good things happen when I am. <laughs> Famous last words. Well, I'm just, I'm just really personally chuffed that you didn't get completely upset with me and what I'd done to your greenhouse while you were gone. I'm really pleased with you myself. You didn't do for that. it too well. Yeah. Well, you did plant the plants in places where I did not want you to plant plants. Yeah, but come on, that's, that's I was mm. hope I was expecting to harvest those and grow more stuff in those. I just figured you were being inefficient by f forcing things to be in only specific organized chunks. Well, I'm sorry for trying to keep an orderly order in at least one part of the base. Yeah, but mm. there's 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 order and then there's inefficiency. <laughs> Two levels of the plant factory has to grow. Oh, you've done it now. <laughs> yeah, that's Black Shadow's line. <laughs> I knew what I was doing. Oh, Shadow. Um, I did something bad. What did you do this time? Would you like six shoots that I had in my suit at the time we were, you were asking for them? That's it. Where's my grinder? Oh wait, I want those. I need those for what I'm building. Never mind. I'm keeping Oh, does you even mean that you offer it and then take it? You! <laughs> uh, uh, um. Hmm. Is there a door in my way? Who closed the door? I suspect Shadow did that to lock me in here. Am I correct, Shadow? Maybe. Why is there a wall here? Uh, because I was just making sure I had the right bits. Why is there a door here? Why is there a wall here? <laughs> yeah, why isn't this all just a cave? It's still mostly a cave. I'm so curious if I can make this work. It'd be so cool if I can. Low power, high density storage. And we shouldn't need to power the storage once, like, provide any power. We can just kind of do this in a spot and then it's done. You only need power to take stuff out. Of yeah. The main challenge with this is trying to make something that has a nice smooth slope to it so that the ice actually rolls down into the middle. And then I guess oh, see right. whether that it thing actually you're talking about, yeah. Enough in. It's trying to form it with dirt, right? Not with frames or anything? Yeah, with dirt. Because I don't think there are any building materials that provide the that shape that we need. Like a smooth slope. I'm pretty sure you, it has to be done with dirt. Okay, so I figure there are two components to what I'm testing here. I need to make sure that ice will form and collect in the bottom of a hole. And then I can see if I can set up some sort of collecting system for that. Which should be relatively straightforward. This will just be a collection chute at the bottom. Is there specifically a hopper with just like a full grid collection thing? Oh, is it? 
Okay, cool. So that'd be the easiest thing to do at the bottom then. I mean, if if I used hoppers, I could, and if I wanted to use lots of them, I could just make a big square of hoppers at the bottom of a massive hole. Or, That's true. But um, I figured this uses less power because I presume hoppers consume power. Um, that I don't actually know. It's pretty much every device does. STB hopper. No power usage. Okay. If you hopper advanced. I thought. I don't I'm not sure what you makes it advanced. Hopper, actually. You Unless... could use just a small inlet, but the hopper is like bigger, so you have to aim less. Ah. Well, I've built a giant inverted pyramid. And now I'm going to put I... a lid on it. Yes, it can be used as a crash site for alien spaceships. Uh, yeah. Sure, why not? If they use a regular pyramid for, as a landing site. I knew what you were saying. An inverted pyramid. <laughs> Hopefully this is enough to turn this into a room so it can precipitate all of the ice overnight. The tablet will tell you. Oh. It will indeed. I think I might be short one piece to it for it to be considered a room. I suddenly I'm see a flash. I'm not of sure if you actually you might actually need doors. Oh really? Maybe a wall, you uh, window you didn't put the window in might also count. No, it's not counting as a room. How much do I have to fill finish these things for them to count as a room? It needs to actually be closed off if it's not fully complete like open doors work or i think a window without the glass should also count right so i have to at least build it up to that state that's all of them yeah it's a room okay so this is probably only going to collect nitrous um of which there is currently 5.12 percent in the atmosphere I guess I need to come back here at night, and there's not much here for me to do here during the day. Uh, did you put the collection in place already, or do you just want to see if it works? I just want to see if it works well enough to be bothered putting a collection system in, but I might make the parts for the collection system anyway. And because our airlocks definitely still collect stuff. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I, well, I was more meaning will it all like, slide down to the middle effectively enough ah. to then be picked up. And is, is there enough generated for that to be productive as well? Then we got to th figure out how we're going to release oxygen and carbon dioxide into the actual... And nitrogen into the atmosphere. So we can make it more habitable outside. Plant a tree. Does anyone have any ideas about how we're going to get more gas? Like, are we just going to mine the oxide and release it? Raiders? We need to we need to collect the gas first in any case. We can buy some, yeah, probably, but we need money first. What can we sell well, the Oh, I can grow a lot of plants. Yeah. Um from what I know, the traders will pay you Ooh. to take their pollutant. Ah. That's what I figured, but I you know, you never know. People might have needs for things. Coolant and whatnot. So it'll be Shadows, foods, and plants that will make us the money then. Presumably. I will set up a restaurant. Perfect. Why did everything suddenly go dark in the greenhouse? And why do I only see a potato? Because <laughs> because you have you don't have any normal lights in there. You've only got grow lights. I'm inside of the room, like the um thing with the lights, the table. Oh, power oh. is out. That's what? Oh great. Well, I'm trapped in the airlock. <laughs> I was power out. Wow. I saw sparks above me. Oh no. Yeah, look. That means we've we've had a short. Yeah, there's a uh, there's a cable blown up here. How? Nev, I'm not going to replace it, but you come up here and I'll show you cuz I don't where, know. Where are you? I'm up above the airlocks. Oh, this makes coding more interesting. This burnt out. How? I don't know. Still yeah, that's that not good. Out. Is it fixed now? No, there's another burnt cable up here. How has it taken this long to happen? And it happened on me opening the airlock pretty much. 
Oh, maybe because no one was going in and out the airlock, so there was no power being drawn through there. Well, yeah, the, the airlock heater is probably in yeah. combination with the battery chargers. Well, yeah, because I did manage to clear the ice that was in here before it right. shorted out. I'll move, I'll move the battery chargers somewhere else. I mean, it's a bad position anyway for human access, but I think yeah. it was the easiest to put them. How do we get TV out there? <laughs> we have, we have yeah, I wasn't even thinking about that. <laughs> oh, TV, do you have some cables? Um, I do not have cables because that's what I was coming back to get more of. Um, Nev, I have an idea. Go through the other airlock and force open his outer door. And that the doors are locked. Well, you can if you use a grinder. Uh, At least that gets him out and then you can... I guess. Fix it up. <laughs> it's 1% oxygen here. I'm sure it'll be fine opening it on the base side. Just better be safe than sorry. So I assume there's cables burned out under the flooring somewhere. Oh, there's, yeah, there's going to be cables burned out everywhere. The, like, the power still hasn't come back on. The power is on for the other airlock. Oh, maybe that's the APC. Yeah. The power's the out heavy the cables base. shouldn't have burned out. Oh, no. The batteries have discharged all of their charge. What? How? Oh, from an overload? No. Yeah, they're, they're all empty. But that shouldn't happen from an overload. I reckon... Something's happened up here and we've ended up with power going straight to the APC battery. And it's all dumped. So yeah, we've got minimal power in the base. So I can't actually manufacture anything either. So it's lucky Maybe we they... do have backup power for those airlocks. Uh... Nope. Yeah, I can't... Really? Oh. No. The airlock was flickering power for a second. I wanted to watch my thing and see if it worked tonight. I didn't want to be messing with this stuff. Uh, Kepa, there's, have... a, there's a burnt cable. And oh, there as well. Ooh. Yeah, the base yeah, lights keep coming on and off yeah. occasionally. They should have been red. If you think about that. I'm going to put a this big battery in the greenhouse airlock. This is very Halloween-esque. How, how long until someone, one of us, starts picking the others off? You're the Amogus. <laughs> hey. Right. I mean, Shadow's the one with the skulls, so she's the obvious anyone. one, which means she's obviously going to be innocent. It's never the one you suspect. Probably it's Kapak, because he's the closest <laughs> to red colour. Well, the airlock is working again. Ah, oh, the sun has come out. But yeah, probably didn't help that it was night time. Why is there yeah, a network analyzer on the floor? Uh, am I safe to re-enter? Uh, oh, we've got... Yeah, why, is so? the, why is there water ice everywhere? There's... Oh, There's man. condensation that, happening in the base. That I don't know. condensation everywhere. <laughs> Hopefully the vents will get it. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, I kind of like the idea <laughs> of having a misty base in the future, but... Um, permanently? Oh. You must oh. have leaked. Oh. The waste pipe is burst. What? Uh. Oh, because nothing was processing at the other end. This is liquid pollutant. No. Oh. Because all the power well, went out. This is it, everybody. This is the end. We're all gonna die. Oh, I need to bring a pipe. There's a yeah. There's a <laughs> broken pipe up here. Uh, well, there's a, there's a broken the... pipe down here. I'm trying to get it. I put most of the pipe stuff in one of these new cabinets up here. If we overload the pipe, no, there should be a tank at the end. We sort of did overload the pipe, actually. Uh, I never finished my water extraction system. No. <laughs> Why do I have cognition low? Oh, my air tank is empty. Oh, I should hurry. Well, that'll do it. <laughs> I guess I'll follow you. Nope. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, I fell over. Where's the... Oh, that's right. The oxygen's in here. Oh, I fell over. Oh, I fell over again. I can't get up. Bad time to have an empty air tank. Well, no, it was a good time because I was right there next to you. And I was needing to head to the um, greenhouse anyway because I'm my water's so low that my health's down to seventy six percent. There you go. Should be all right now. Uh, there's a wrench on some pipes just lying on the floor here. It's probably mine that I've lost. 
I didn't bother picking that up. I just picked him up instead. Are you getting better, Nev? Uh, yeah, slowly. Walk again. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm guessing Muted Shadow can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Hi. Oh, sun's coming up outside. We should be get getting out of back here. soon. I was just coming to say hi. I'm coding. You don't interrupt a programmer during a coding session. That's just rude. This he does what? it all the time. Pure ice liquid nitrous. I feel like part of that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Pure ice liquid. Pure ice liquid slush? pollutant. There's a pipe outgassing over here. Come back. Whereabouts are you? I'm in the maintenance corridor. Okay. Oh yeah, we got another burst pipe here. I'm going to turn off these vents. So Nev, was your plan to have a condensation valve liquefy and then the expansion valve force gas into the one that goes to the outside atmosphere? Um, well, the condensation valve, it takes out the water or the yeah. liquids that it forms. And then you uh, also place down an expansion valve here. <laughs> what was your plan with it? Yeah, because that the other side is open to the global atmosphere, so I would, was hoping it would just leave instead of break the pipe. <laughs> oh, uh, did you disconnect the large tank or did, did that yes. also burst? That burst and then I disconnected it and didn't rebuild it initially. Oh, something else burst. I'm not surprised. Really should have turned off the filtration units. Uh, I'm just waiting for the whole base to explode at the same time. Everything is creaking over here. So much for depressurizing the base. Uh oh. Yeah, it's gotten so much worse. <laughs> uh, the sun's going it? down. We've got whatever power we're gonna get. Um, did we ever put up the emergency generator? Nope. And it's very foggy again. Maybe oh. someone can find the uh, coal generator the, the and brown, put it outside somewhere. The brown pipe down here is burst again. It's yeah, just into the corridor. Uh, I will just come and disassemble it. Or just, just disassemble the broken part so it doesn't outgas anymore. Did we ever disassemble the solid generator at the old base? Uh, I'm not sure we did. You might be able to just print one off though, Nev. Uh, I was using it to get to make some power. Uh, last time I was over there, the, the generator's oh. still assembled over there. Oh, it's probably still over there. I will make a new one. Put it as an emergency to just shove a stack of coal in there. Well, you could you could put it in that little battery room that I made. The, the little solar control room. room. Yep. It's just outside the door, because then it can be hidden and stay in there permanently. Uh, we probably want to be able to access it from inside, though. Because if, uh, if the power goes out and we're inside, we're going to want to be able that's to... That's why our airlocks have batteries. Well, I was going to say it might be worth putting it in the utility room and, like, piping through the exhaust gases to outside. Yeah, maybe, maybe we can do that later. But the problem is the exhaust gases don't pipe off, <laughs> so you have to put it in a, it in has a room to be in a box. that's sucked empty. Oh. And that's a powered yeah, that's system. Lame. Uh, battery chargers. Where should I put the battery chargers? Probably just on the main walls next to the airlock, shouldn't I? I was thinking about converting this front area next to the airlocks in like a personal service station, like battery chargers and then O2 chargers when we are done with that eventually. Oh yeah. In the vestibule. I have now fixed up the chargers so they're in the right spot. They're no longer in the... Which battery do we have? I'm going to throw away these little batteries. Yeah, back to building before I get nothing done. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I really want to go and mess with my little terraforming idea. Well, I kind of need to do the corridor bit first. Like, I want to fix that. Um, Nev, do you want to come and have a look at what's over there and see whether you've got any other ideas of ways we can speed this thing up? Like, do we end up using one of those powered condensation things? So basically, this pipe, this liquid pipe can't go outside because it gets too cold. It freezes and then it explodes. Ah, so that's the problem. It froze. Yeah, that yeah. Makes sense. so I can't have the liquid pipe go outside. So what I've got is Ooh. I set up a couple of these in series so that they can hopefully empty the liquid out, but they're still too slow. 
I would assume they are actually fine. The problem is that we have accumulated too much. When well, we you set say this that, up. except we're down to 100 liters and it starts going up immediately. And it was at 600 liters before. And it wasn't a problem. For it would get a battery for my tablet. I can't even check. Oh. I mean, I sort of have the same problem in the gas filtration room, right? All the pure pollutant that we are sucking out of, of stuff, it needs to go somewhere. Yeah. I was figuring, like, one condensation valve should hopefully be plenty. Because uh, how much pollutant do we actually have? But... Well, so the, the issue is, we turn on this... So, have a look at the gas pipes. And watch, <laughs> and look at their stress levels. So it's currently 0.048% stress. Yeah, perfectly fine. Yep. Watch this. Assuming it hasn't gotten better. Rapidly climbing. And the tank's only it's got 30 liters of liquid. Off. Well, that's not going to take long for it to get to overstressed. Yeah. It's just, it just goes up so quickly. I don't know how to make this go faster. Yeah. This is like the only option we really have. I'm not sure what else to use. Well, can't we use like the... under those powered phase change chamber things? Couldn't we use one of them? Possibly, but they are very complicated. They are more meant to like derive power or derive heating. Yeah, yeah, like a, I know a that. But heat I, pump design. <laughs> I thought they might be usable in this context. The stress, have been made. The stress oh, seems to be ah. constant now. Well, sort uh, of. What have you done, Black Shadow? I have music in my suit and I need help. It, it won't turn off. <laughs> what? How do you even do that? I am being assaulted by Flight of the Bumblebee. Help! <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not even sure what that means. <laughs> uh, it means Shadow's off. figured out a way to put music in her suit, but not a way to turn it back off. <laughs> Remove the chip? <laughs> I did. <laughs> still playing. This is this has just been we've been on fire. I mean, oh. actually, actually, on fire is the only thing we haven't been this. Never yeah, have an idea. Oh, it's fine. But, Wait, the stress oxide, level seems to be constant yeah. now with the thing. Yeah, on, so Nev, I have a I have a better fine. idea than what we're doing. We just need a loop of this pipe that goes outside, and we put a pipe a liquid drain valve on it, because there's a valve you put on. Atmospheric pipes that does that. It'll just drain yeah, the liquid that, out. That would help for this system, but it doesn't solve my gas filtration problem. No, it does not. <laughs> but Did this system is for getting the base depressurized, and it's bugged me that we can't at least do this. I know stuff like work. But the stress is actually going down it now, does. so what I guess it? it's not actually filling any much up anymore because there's not much gas left anymore. Yeah. We topped out at like 5.9, we're down at 5.4 now. Okay, so we can probably just leave it for a bit. Let me know what the stress does when I do this. What, did you turn another one on? Yep. Let me go back there and check. I mean, I could look up at this, the roof, because I am near the oh, same now. 15%, 16, 17. Oh, it says 69% stress down this end. Oh. 17 and it froze and it's going down again, or did you turn it off? I just turned it off because it got up quite high down this end. Ah. Still with my first oh, attempt at yeah, the second Yeah, but the filter's tower. on. Uh, no, the filter's are off. That might help too. Oh, I got there with 58%. Um, cognition badness. Ooh, that was close. Still no skull for shadow. What? I got to um somewhat unconscious just then. I was graying out mm. as I replaced my oxygen. Hmm. Don't just open yours. Oh, I can hear you. <laughs> uh, I can got hear my arc right though. of the Valkyries from you. Oh, all right, it's right of the Valkyries. Sorry. I'm... Anyway. How many? Why is there an electrum ingot on the ground? How many sound choices do you have, or do you feed like your own, or uh, how does it work? And we have free choices for music. <clears throat> I'm surprised it's so loud that we can hear it. I mean, I wanna. 
What if I close my helmet? <laughs> oh, that's the wrong button. I only left us cap out because I've already left. Can you still hear it? Yep. Uh, <laughs> okay, well that's unfortunate because that means I can't just have music playing all the time. To get Capac to teach you about the proper use of suit radios. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure that's the best choice of teacher. No. I'll break my arm, it'll get infected, things will go horribly wrong. Alright, I've turned all the vents back on. Pipe stress is climbing, but it's... It's stabilized with the two on it's just every time i go to a fresh room it this it shoots up and then it eases back down yeah we caught that that's an initial all yeah. yeah and it's stabilizing around 52 percent and slowly coming down it again it's now. pretty high i'm not sure if it's enough to cause damage and it's going down it's down to 46 at the vent here and that's what i was hoping i could do just use one or two of the condensation valves uh, and hope that I'm not producing enough gas at one time to actually cause issues. Yeah. Because usually we shouldn't be producing so much pollutant, because even the furnace uh, that does produce fresh pollutant, that doesn't produce it in large masses, because the actual furnace chamber is pretty small. But I guess in good news, we've gotten, you know, most of the pollutant out of the tank. Yeah, I guess. And pipe stress is down to 2.5%. So, at worst, you might need to do a big series of them like I've done here for each setup. Having six of them. Because it does seem to have I helped. did not plan room for that. <laughs> yeah, I guess we will see. Yeah. No, there's some nitrous hiding back there. I've been picking up the nitrous around the base. Okay. That's done. Now I can go back to doing my thing. Right, what's happening in my... My thing over here, my chamber. Okay, there's a small amount of nitrous in the bottom. What's happening in the ammo here? Oh, there's no nitrous in this room. Packed it all out. Or yeah. it froze all out. Yeah, it all it's all frozen out. Like, I don't think this system's going to be very effective at all because I think it's too slow to get the nitrous. Oh yeah, because uh, it needs to actually exchange with the atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you could force it, just by having like vents that push air in and out. Oh yeah. That's a good point. I could... I could, um, just shove general air in. I need to set this up closer to home. The next test. Can work, I just need to do it differently. I need to probably, as you say, now pump air into a space so that it... gradually has to equalize. Put a big active... a big powered vent sucking from general world atmosphere and chucking it through a bunch of passive vents that are in the space. Obviously with the risk of it all liquefying and going weird. Maybe this isn't my best use of my time. <laughs> I'm sure you can find some base project to work on if you want something. Yeah, I think I might instead. I might dismantle a few more things around. Are these all steel or iron? These are steel. Okay. So basically, at this point, of all of us, the one who's done the most uh, to terraform this place is TFE. Wow. <laughs> Prices us all. <laughs> Including TFE, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shadow's hopping back in the murder tube. Uh, how much has this got? This has 1.8... Uh, 4.61 kilomoles. Should last a little while. Yeah, I put like five stacks oxygen in there earlier. Okay. Alright, so I've just got to keep that on and make sure that we don't lose base power again. And if we do lose base power, I've got to get you out of that thing and just feed you and force feed you. Oh, that's not creepy water at stuff. all. Okay, cool. Um, cause Shadow's you're... shadow doesn't have eyes or has eyes. What? <laughs> Do shadows creepy. normally have eyes? Yeah, with that's the right. Too much, too like much light. <laughs> With the right lighting, you could actually... The light was passing through Shadow's eyes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's, it's Looks like the glasses are <clears> on the shadow. Yeah. Come back. Stop trying to break her tube. Yeah, I'm practicing my Super Mario Brothers moves. <laughs> it needs to be green, then. The tube. Yeah. Maybe we could have a piranha plant coming out the top. 
Maybe. Uh, I was thinking we should perhaps get a tube each. For carnivorous plants. Uh, sure. But yeah, we should probably have a tube each, and then we could have a green one, because TFEs will probably be green. Right, who's going to do the plumbing? Uh, it's something I will work toward. I want to get lights in here first that don't turn off when the plants want darkness. Because I think the plants only care about the green, like the the grow lights. I don't think they care about normal lights. And I'd like to get some normal lights in here. So that's one of the things I'm going to work on while um, hopefully but you two can help Nev get if what they... he needs to get the atmospherics up. What the heck is that green sludge? Uh... <laughs> There's decayed food in the food vending machine. That's oh good. That shouldn't happen. Wait, is that when we were out of power briefly? This is a refrigerated machine, right? Wait, the fridge have to be turned back on manually? Was... Yeah, it's a refrigerated vending machine. Hm. Weird. Anyway. When looking at this wiring, I realized that Shadow and I think in very different ways. You didn't know that before now. <laughs> I mean, I kind of did. You didn't quite appreciate just how much. Yeah. I'm not saying one of us is right or wrong. I'm just saying they're very different. That's right. You can both be wrong. That is true. Uh-oh. Um, what are you uh owing, TV? I might, might have gone to use the old oxygen refill at the old base, and um, it sucked all the oxygen out of my tank instead, so now I'm trapped in here. <laughs> you probably used the wrong one. Um, Nev, but, you, you keep working on the airlock. Here. I'll go help TFE. I'll go use the airlock for the elevator. Or the big hole, well, you, as the door says. You can get out of the base with the airlock fine. Getting better oh, yeah, get right. in is a problem. That's right. I'll go help TFE. What have I got on me? Oh, you right. just have to stand here at 107 degrees and endure. Yes. Oh, dear. Uh, this tank does have oxygen in it. The one inside the base is a tank emptier, not the tank filler. Oh, no. This is 960 no, kilopascals. No, I'm about to fall unconscious. It's too warm in here. Uh, I don't know what to do to help. I'm unconscious. Um, Kapak, go in the room. TV, was your helmet closed? Uh, open. Because oh. otherwise it would have suffocated. Oh, it's right, 107 the degrees in there. <laughs> Alright. Um, Kapak, do you have any oxide on you? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'll have a look. I've got nitrice. No, that doesn't help. Can you go try and collect some oxide? Kapak, it this is like Where's my mining backpack? I don't know. Your mining backpack is over here in the cupboard. Or sitting on nope, the I'm dead. floor on the side You're dead. It up. Yeah. Already? Apparently the temperature killed me really quickly. Hey, oh, I was look. trying to get in there to throw some regular ice on the ground. Don't last very long without oxygen. Well, in you don't last very long when your skin is boiling. Yeah. Yeah, you're dead. Um, wow. Where am I going to respawn? Uh, gonna we respawn get a skull right and here. Shadow's not even here. We need passive right. winds and so, some pipes. I guess since this chamber is a death trap, I should probably do start disassembling it then. <laughs> how am I going to go in and get my stuff without just dying again? Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Alright. Your oxygen bottle out here is full. Uh, the way to do that may be for Kapak to just cut a hole in the wall. Where is this? Kapak. Are we, are we sure we're done with all this stuff? I think we, I think we got it. It's an airlock. <laughs> well, no, no, because if TFE goes in there, he's going to get injured really quickly. Like, my waste tank went... Uh, rapidly critical because it's so hot in here. Hot in there. Okay, it is exposed. This wall is open now. All right, TFE, you can go in there. Uh, you left your tablet behind, TFE. Uh, I'm gonna get my helmet out without dying. Because if I just swap with my helmet, I'm just gonna start suffocating again. Uh, uh, why ooh, don't you take your weird. whole body to the new base? Uh, sure. That's probably. Oh, don't don't forget this. Need your air tank. 
Do you not have any capacity? Like, can't you just put it in your suit? Drop yourself. Ooh. I'll do uh, it for you. Before, before any of you go anywhere, can one of you feed me some of this water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going anywhere. TFA, just drop yourself. Oh, no, you've swapped it. No, I've swapped it. Thank swap you. your helmet quickly. Actually, I don't think you need to. Be that quick about it. But you need this, you ah. need this bottle. Put this no. bottle in. Toxin critical when I put drop the helmet yourself. back on. Drop yourself. Oh, Close damn. your helmet. Close your helmet. Oh. Damn. Flush your suit. Once you put that bottle in. Yeah. No, don't, don't. Wait, what? What? Where's this other canister come from? Because it's the one I had on me that was empty. What? Okay, I'm good. Have you got a waste tank in? Yeah, I always had a waste tank. Oh. I had a yellow oxygen cast. So I'd forgotten how that happened. That makes sense still. All seems back to normal. There you go. The old me has died. Uh, we're not ready to get rid of this greenhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yet, though. I'm going to worry about this one first. There's no way to relabel it so we pretend it's yours. <laughs> nope. I remain alive at day 138 somehow. By some miracle. Kill him. Yes. No. I've right, done where? so well. I've worked really Where's... hard at making this the case. So we're not going to ambush Splitsy with energy rifles. No. Stay away. I mean, we'd probably miss and blow up something important on the base, so... Anyone Definitely. coming back to the new base? Uh, I'm yes. about to arrive at the airlocks. So, uh, because I'm stuck in the stair hole again. Oh. <laughs> it's a stupid thing. <laughs> I'm stuck in the stair hole. Uh. I've just learned some useless information. Carrying your body makes your jetpack <clears throat> slower. <laughs> yeah, because you're heavy. I don't know what's going on with this How refill system. How do you get stuck from that stair hole? Oh yeah, I, I just have to nudge me a bit, it's, it's fixed. But okay. if TFE had filled up his bottle from the outside, you would have been fine. Yeah. Yeah, the, in, the inside thing is for waste emptying, I think, for yeah. some reason. The inside thing was deliberately broken at one stage, because it was in the way of things. Yeah, back to working on um, the Why did I just get toxin critical from opening my helmet in the greenhouse or next to it room? Uh, I don't know. It started suffocating. What is Why is there a human skull in here? Uh, that's probably where am I? No, I'm in the greenhouse. There's a capac skull in here. What? In the old greenhouse. Oh, the old greenhouse. Hey, I'm in the old me greenhouse. Died. Died. There's a Wait. capac skull. If Those you're in died. the old greenhouse, yeah. And I'm in the new greenhouse. What greenhouse is TFE in? Uh, I'm here. <laughs> You where? I don't wait, see you anywhere. Wait, I'm invisible. <laughs> Tiffy's gone ghost again. Hang on. Um, what's something that makes a sound? Uh, Tiffy, you might be poisoned because you'll probably, when you resync, go back to where you, uh, where I think you are. Yeah. Oh yeah, that might be possible. I might need to read. It. Hang on, can I push Capo? Because you're not going to be where you think you are. Your gas side of things is probably going to be where I think you are. Yeah. That would explain why I got poisoned while standing in a pressurized space. Yes. As you desync. What? I'm in a hole in the middle of... <laughs> there you go. Wait, but I'm pretty close to a new base. <laughs> oh, red toxin. That's not good. Well, at least I can get the... make the tablets for you, potentially. Yeah, I'm probably going to need one. Ooh. Nev, we're um, low on fuel over here. No, my cognition is low. Oh. Uh, TV might be about to die. Oh, Again. collapse. Again. Come on, make it through the airlock. Well, I'm going to die in the main corridor, so you won't be able to miss me. Oh, oh there he goes. <laughs> How close to death are you, TV? Uh, 95% health. How quickly is it going down? Uh, 94. Oh, I might be able to save you. I'm, gonna, I'm heading back. Can someone cycle I got the airlock? Him. I'm trying to take him into the greenhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, his lungs are broken. I'm going to have to fix that. Can someone cycle the airlock so that I can enter quickly? Oh, yeah, it's open. Okay. How do I take his helmet off? Press R and then you just drag it off. Well, you should be regaining consciousness. No, because his lungs are probably busted. I've got oh. to give him a tablet. A pill. All right. So I've got to make one. I'm currently rushing back. 
Oh, Kabak, cycle the, cycle the airlock. I am. You going in or out? I'm going out. Okay, good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What's your health at, TFE? Uh, 81. I'm not having you die on me twice. I don't, I don't know why I care so much, but I'm trying to care. So, I've got a question. Of course you do. Is there any reason for me to not throw all the iron frames and iron sheets into the Recyclotron? I don't believe so. Ah, uh, iron sheets we do need for certain devices. Oh, uh, okay. Right, I'll do frames, so. Alright. Okay, I have a pill. Where is TFE? You better? Oh. I fixed you! Hey. Yeah. Okay, I am going to when these I think when these soybeans grow next or maybe the potatoes, I'm ripping up half of them and I'm doubling our fern supply for a bit. <laughs> we need more ferns. Or maybe I just more, more, put more planters in cuz Shadow hasn't exactly made this as dense as it could be. Yeah, I've not opened my helmet without dying. We also have a lot of unused space. Well, yeah, but I like that. Uh, should we make a medicine vending machine? We don't have enough medicines for that. <laughs> I'm, I like, I'm basically just luckily having some when it's needed. So, Kavak, um, I was going to put some wind turbines down at the bottom level with the, like, near where the solar panels are. Any thoughts on how to make that look interesting? Since you... You were the mastermind behind the uh, avenue of solar panels. I was. Oh dear. Never mind. Oh, I'll just do what idea. I want. Don't we want to put them up on top of the mountain where they get the most wind? I don't think there's a substantial difference, and having to cable to the top of the mountain to then get power back down to the battery room is a major pain in the backside that I wanted to avoid. Oh, why don't you put the why don't you put them on top of um TFE's gas stacks? Um, because I'm worried those will explode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, plus I make kind it of have, you know, a vent on top of it. If they exploded, <laughs> they hurl whirling fan blades of death at everybody. That makes it more entertaining. <laughs> it does, but I don't think any of us are gonna see it when it happens because it'll be in the middle of a storm. Well, speaking a of storm, which storm you say. Oh what? <laughs> No, come on! Ah, oh, what? He jinxed it. I'm literally... I was just printing off heavy cables so that I could put them out there. All right, I'm going to try and put one down. Oh, I've just passed 1,000 litres of liquid pollutant. The terraforming tank. Oh, why am I moving so Never slowly? Have both the airlocks working now? It should be, yes. Oh, no! Boss. Dang it. I want to do this quickly because I want to actually get the power, but I forgot to bring out the frames. I need frames to place this on. Uh, trying to do this quickly. That's your tablet, quickly isn't enough. it? Okay, there is now a deadly wind turbine out here. <laughs> I can hear it. Uh, can anyone tell. Can someone run down to the battery room and tell me what the batteries show as their power level? Um, Yellow, yellow, red, and. Dead. Yellow, yellow, red, and dead. Okay. I've got one of the oh, wind turbines hooked up. I'm going to try and hook up another one. Nev, do you ever do anything for your tablet that can look at how much power is going in? Because I just hooked up three wind turbines. I don't think I have it on me, but let me check. I'm just waiting for the light to explode from the extra power. Well, yeah, I'm not sure how it's going to play out. Cable. Doesn't appear to have exploded yet. Well, I don't know if the batteries are getting a lot of charge or a little of charge, but they've got a lot more charge than they had when I started building those I put solar panels. a pipe panels. analyzer on the input pipe, but I'm not quite sure how to read it. <laughs> <laughs> I think so the this... required is what we are actually feeding. If that's the case, we're feeding 18.3 megawatts. And the, the brown one is the feed cable, right? The gray, the yeah. The gray one. Yeah. Gray is the feed. It's going down. And we'll see if it goes down massively when the storm ends. The storm is still going, right? Yep. Jump and find out. 
Well, nothing happens. I'm inside. It'd be kind of cool if like, Storm had a chance oh. to fling like little rocks or I was something. Pushing me around when I jumped upstairs. Wouldn't do anything in here. It shouldn't. But it is still going because I can see the atmospheric effect. Yeah, you could see it, yeah. Shadow, are you awake in there? What if I do this? Oh! <laughs> oh, you are awake! Are you. I've, I've Where got... am I? Everything is dark. <laughs> Everything... There's a creepy man staring at me. Is, is it actually dark? It's very dark. Uh, do you want to get your suit on so you got some lights then? Um, probably. <laughs> uh, there have been... Uh, there are some changes I've done around here. You might want to open your helmet. That's the wrong button. <laughs> so, how you doing? Ah. You've been asleep for a while? I... I'm confused. About what? Why is everything Welcome dark? To the club. What do you mean everything's dark? It's there are no dark. lights in here. There were, you, there, when you went to sleep, there were no lights in here. There are four lights. Well, there's four cryo tubes? Yeah, I finished making the cryo tubes for the other three. Huh. Um, I've made some changes. I've, I've done some upgrades around here that I wanted to show you. Upgrades? Yeah. Or downgrades? Upgrades. Side grades. Have a look on top of the light. Oh. Thought you'd like that decoration. Also, oh. this shelf is a little more full. Up there. It... Hmm. Hmm. There's still many missing, though. Um, there are also more seeds, and I've been... I switched out the potatoes for the ferns, because we've been going through tablets quite quickly pills quite quickly the things that happen when i'm not here to supervise yeah but uh the i think the ferns it's been useful um but if you come outside with me i've got something even better to show you so oh this is the progress that nev's been making on the gas setup so we've he's got his um volatiles filter co2 filter nitrogen oxygen and the tanks match up did you paint the pipe brown, or did I do that? I did that because it's the waste pipe. Oh, yeah. We should color code the tanks. Yeah. I just, that's why I was asking last time about using the spray painter. Ah, so with the pipes, you don't have to paint it. You can just have a color, a pipe of that color in your hand and just keep replacing the pipes that are there. Yeah, I know, but the, the tanks still need coloring. Yeah, I just spray the tanks. We're so close to vacuum and we're not breathing. Just spray them now um, and be done with it. Yeah, I will put up the last two and then yeah. pull up them all. Um, so, Nev, once I've shown Shadow what I'm about to show her, I might need your permission to set up the connections to the greenhouse area from here. Uh, yeah, sure, we can just look at it. Uh... Yep. Um, nice. I wanted to uh... put up the last two tanks and then connect to the furnace room as well. Yep. Who embedded this coffee mug in this railing? Oh, Shadow. It's art. It's going to spring a leak. Shadow, come with me. Mm -hmm. Down here. This is the quickest route. Oh my god. What is this? <laughs> oh, she found the spark. Who did last this? Year. Uh this was predominantly Ooh, Nev. Like... What what did I do? And well I contributed, but it was definitely uh, Nev deserves the credit. It looks cool. Oh cap hack! Oh, this pile. Stop making stuff fall out. The all... pile is basically full. I've not been able to add any more without it falling out. <laughs> you gotta be gentle when you put it in as well. Because it rolls off otherwise. This cap back throws it. Hurts it. Me. Why does it hurt you? Doesn't it's unorganized. I just stored it there in the hopes that we can organize it into a proper sorting system later. Alright, anyway. That wasn't what I was trying to show you and wasn't what I was trying to upset you with. Um, well, no, we got a whole lot of things we want to both. upset you with. All right, come with me. The next I'm bit looks, I think looks neat. Yeah. Come on. Have a look at this. Look above you. It's a door. Oh. 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 Notice what the pipes are and what they might be relevant to with regards to your greenhouse. We've got water. Carbon dioxide, oxygen, nitrogen, and... and water. 
Ah. Come in here. The reason there's an airlock here is because the underneath of the greenhouse is now pressurized. So you can pull up your floors when you need to. Ooh. Although we got to get the oh, pressure exciting. up in here first. Ooh. So I've got to spray these tanks the right color and set up the portable filter down here. But once we've got enough pressure in here, you can actually go through the floor and you can rip things up. And you and what I was thinking we could do is maybe put a set of stairs in up the top so that you can walk down the stairs into here. And then you've got access to all your tanks and we can put all this cluttery stuff away and nice and organized. Yeah. Yeah, I, They're proof. I thought you'd like the concept. It was just the execution you might do differently, but I figured you'd be happy with the concept that I was going with down here. I mean, um, it's a big empty room right now. Well, so. yeah, but so my idea was we would keep some safety reserves just for the greenhouse of all these gases. I have a whole bunch of oxide on me. Do you want me to drop some in here? Uh, no, there's not enough pressure in here for it to sublimate. There's not uh, enough pressure in here to generate enough heat for it to sublimate into. It's not at nil. No, it's not. I've been emptying my waste tank and I found some other waste tanks that I emptied in here to try and bring the pressure up. But what I was thinking we could do, Shadow, is if we push the pressure up upstairs a little bit too high and then pop a hole in the floor. You want to risk our plans? Well, I think if we push it up to, say, 80 kilopascals, it'll only drop to 40 when we open it because this place is about the same volume as upstairs. Uh huh. Well, I'd say let's do 100, so it's easier yeah. to pressure up because yeah. it is going to be double as big a space, so we need more air to increase pressure. Yeah, we can go to 100, and then it'll just drop to 50. But yeah, either way, I, there was I figure there's enough margin because we're only doubling the space, the volume, and then we can then we can do wiring and stuff without having to go in and out. We can stay in the greenhouse and keep working, which means the two of us should be able to get a heap of stuff done. Sounds good. Uh, and you might notice, this airlock actually uses the big vents. Oh, yeah. Uh, which is just a normal chip airlock. It's not like a script or anything. And it still happy, happily uses those big vents, which is nice. Uh, so, Nev, what I was wondering mm -hmm. is how you would like these pipes to come into the tank room. Yeah. Because... <laughs> Um, it isn't really a good solution. I guess we just pipe them through the big door. Down down below. Yep. Yeah. Alright. I just have to see how that works because the door has a bit of a blocking area. Doesn't it just block the sides? Not the where top. Did the, where did I put the brown pipe? You put it on the top in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, you can see if they... I mean, the cable is here. We could probably move yeah, the cable. It looks like you can put it across the top anyway. So I was thinking yeah. if if you're brown and if you're brown's there, we can then just go because you need to have pink, gray, white. Purple, All of them need to come in here, basically. Yeah, except for water. Oh, well, except maybe the cooling pipe and the premix air pipes. Those can possibly go somewhere else. Well, I mean, this would should be where we'd be storing the premixed air as well, shouldn't it? Uh, I'm not sure if we should be storing premix air or just mixing it on demand oh, to yeah, compensate right. for the. But yeah, I, I think all, all the mixing stuff should be in here. It's this is the atmospheric room, like this is the gassing room. Right? Yeah, yeah, I guess it makes sense. I'm uh, not yeah. sure how we do the cooling yet, mm, but the yeah, gassing it can come room in here for doesn't now. sound right. No, it doesn't. I... Mm. <sighs> we have jet. Would you like to we see some magic here somewhere, don't we? Your, oh. your suit automatically doing things. Yes. A uh, full backpack full of silicon. And soft keyboard. <laughs> Very <laughs> nice. Very nice. Ooh, that's a wall. Oh, wait, I actually needed to grab another chip. Well, good. Shadow is really putting some thought into this coding. <laughs> <laughs> I am professional coder, yes. Putting my head in the game. She's got uh, Elon Musk's new neural interface and she's just plugging directly into the laptop. <laughs> Unfortunately, oh. the included cable was very short. Five, four, three, two, one. Fire, fire, fire. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. Oh, <laughs> well, it works. 
<laughs> I put Luna on the table. My cat, it's not working. It's falling over. <laughs> no. What the? It's spinning on its own. What is happening? It's freaking out. It's alive. It's the haunted. The cat is possessed. Yeah. <laughs> it's doing bad. You guys rock. only just now found out? Apparently, it's yes. It's been that way. It's so, been and now it's for a while. What? <laughs> How does this work? So you the place only way it down. to solve this possessed cat problem is to exercise it by throwing credit cards at you it. You place it down. Hey. There we go. It's fine. There we go. You can do some coding. Jenga. <laughs> what are you guys doing to my laptop? Cat's helping. Honestly, from what I'm hearing, I'm more concerned about what they're doing to your cat. I'm, I'm more revenge. worried about what my cat is doing to them. That's a evil. Who are you? Don't chip at me. I'll throw chips at a fries at you. I would relish the fries. No, oxygen low. Make it to the... No, sprint. Oh. Uh, don't close. Don't go through the airlock. I I'm... literally don't... I'm literally holding my breath at this point. You're fine. My, no, my cognition is low. You'll be fine. That's right. Splitsy Op cares more about being slightly inconvenienced than Op he does about his friend's deaths. Open your helmet. Open your helmet. Open your helmet, TV. Uh, <laughs> well, I opened it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. What the heck? <laughs> there you go. See, so uh. you're fine. Pick up your tablet. Not sure I would characterize it as fine. Well, if you'd opened it when I said it, <laughs> rather than like 20 minutes later. I was panicking. <laughs> okay, who wants to be a test dummy? I mean, we're all dummies. I'm not sure I want to be involved in oh, a test. Oh, why not? We should all be a test dummy. I'll do it. I've already fallen unconscious normally anyway. <laughs> Where's Nev? Get him in here. I don't want to be your test dummy. Fine, it'll be fun. You can come see the cool names I get okay. to all the cryo tubes. Then insert it into the suit. Welcome. I need to put... Enjoy your stay. Oh. What the? What? Am I still doing that? <laughs> that was loud. It was. It's louder than those speakers I was messing around with. Yeah. Like... <laughs> I mean, there's more atmosphere in here. I, actually, speaking of the atmosphere in here, it's getting kind of thin. Don't I? Yeah, it is. Oh. What the? Now it's going to get very cold. Eh, shouldn't get too bad. Nev, what's the deal with how you're going to balance the pollutant here so that it doesn't end up bursting stuff? Yeah, for now I just put in two of the condensation valves and a liquid tank. Okay, so I can just and balance between I was, the two. I was trying to play with the, uh, the new atmospheric chamber stuff. This, uh, what's it called? The condensation, the condensation chamber, chamber. The, the, yeah. the active ones. Yeah, because they can actually overpressure the gas in there so it liquefies and then pump them out to the liquid system. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that would need some figuring. So I figured I would just do this emergency condensation valve stuff and hope that helps for now. Yeah, and the way you've got it set up means we can have a whole bunch of them in parallel as well if it doesn't end up being quite uh, Not that many because you run out of space, but yeah. Well, no, because you can go vertically. Oh, yeah, yeah, if you go down, yeah. yeah. Uh, Nev, do you see any issues with me putting a back pressure valve in to ensure that the tanks that are in the greenhouse remain with pressure in them? Uh, why a back pressure valve? Is it... Are, a pressure regulator? Well, probably normal, normal pressure valve, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Basically, yeah. the idea was to always keep some CO2 available for the greenhouse, even if we run out the other systems, similarly with O2 and stuff like that. Just because the plants need to be kept safe. Yeah, that's probably fine. I was thinking of putting some one-way valves in various places as well, so some emergencies don't pollute the whole system. Oh, actually, that's a, that's a fair... fair Thing as well i could probably just put um one-way valves in before getting into the greenhouse so that once it reaches a certain top pressure it won't ever go below that or it won't ever go oh it still go below the rest of the system if it's when the one way at least ensures that nothing can drain your system 
Yeah, which is probably all that's needed, realistically. Uh, and you get more pressure if the whole system gets more pressure, I guess. Yeah. Uh, the pressure regulator would allow you to have like a bit of a bigger reserve, I guess. Yeah, to steal off more. Because if you have a small, a small tank or some inline pipe tanks, you can pressure them up. Yeah, I've got small tanks of the critical components. So Nev, uh... we were bleeding off the brown pipe, and you've also mm -hmm. been filtering the same brown pipe. Yeah, or did you yeah, yeah pretty much. The outside stuff. Uh, it's still connected to the same side. So I should probably disconnect the brown from here, shouldn't I? Hey, it's almost empty by now, so yeah, you can just disconnect it. Right. There's actually a one-way valve in there, so the contents of the brown tank wouldn't have gotten to the filters? Uh, I'm not sure which, which way that was set. <laughs> It should have been possible for them to get to the filters here, like for the stuff that's in the brown tank to be getting outside via this method, by this path. All right, but I've disconnected it now. Yeah, the brown tank mostly contains some NOS, even very little of that. Were we going to store NOS? Yeah, we're storing everything for now. Okay, because you were thinking maybe using it for the, for the furnace, weren't you? Maybe that, but we are also storing volat uh, not volat we are also storing pollutant because well what else are we going to do with it? We want to get it yeah. out of the atmosphere as well, so we yeah. have to store it in some fashion. Yep. And for now everything just gets a normal tank and then and a leak, we and a will have, overflow if needed. Yeah, then we'll have future plans maybe for your solid storage or whatever we are doing. <laughs> what would be the max temperature we want the helmet to be open at? That's the last tweak I need to do for this code. Um, what do you mean? So, currently I have a minimum pressure and a maximum pressure on which the helmet is allowed to open, but I also have a minimum and maximum temperature. So uh, basically when the pressure and temperature are within the ranges, it will open the helmet. Right, uh, I'd say 55 degrees Celsius, or is it in Cal 55? Calvin? Yeah. Uh, it is in Kelvin, but I can translate. Oh, 55 degrees? Temperature wise, pretty hot. It's pretty hot, but yeah, it, I, doesn't, it doesn't immediately do you harm. I currently have it set to 50. Oh, yeah, 50 is so fine. So 322 Kelvin. Yep. Pretty fine okay. as well. And I think the code is done. Awesome. Um, I'm just Explore going to print it. up a couple more water pipes to connect up to Nev's water system, and then I'll come up. I would love to see what you've done. And try yeah. it out. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, a loaf of bread. And I do find it quite horrible how we just eat the loaf of bread rather than getting slices of bread. <laughs> yeah, it's it's and it's such an expensive piece of food to make and yet doesn't do much. Just take a big old bite out of it, right out of the middle. Yeah, and then um, you put the, the remainder back into the machine. Yeah, and the fact that we don't have anything to put on it? Like, yeah. is that and bread just that good, or are our taste buds that bad? I mean, there are breads that are really good that I could just eat like that. Yeah, but is it made out of just wheat and soy oil? <laughs> it's like... I mean... Well, it's like, it's actually, actually fruit bread. Potentially? Like, uh... think, about, think about what you use to make sourdough bread. Literally just flour, water, and the yeasts that are in the air. And on your hands. Mmm, delicious it. air yeast. Yeah, fair. Like bread bread is an amazing thing of that's made from some ridiculously simple ingredients. But I agree with you, it's um seems unlikely that this is gonna be an amazing bread. Can you actually cook anything with it? Like Make sandwiches or whatever. I couldn't figure out a way to. I was having a look. Bread. It usually oh. lists what it can be made into. Right? I think so. Oh, okay, no. Uh, flour does not say. Yeah, let me just skip through the organics and food. Switch, grass. Grass? Edibles and food. I have gotten 
the room under the greenhouse to mm. a total pressure of 451 pascals. Woo. Oh. That's that's just by uh, dumping my um, waste tank in there periodically. Also, out of curiosity, are we pulling air out of the greenhouse? Uh, it seems like the plants are. That much? I yeah. guess it's a big room. Yeah. I, I don't know. Something seems... Uh, the ferns might be? Because I think they chew through the CO2 pretty quickly. Oh. So you're murdering the greenhouse. I see. What? Wow. <laughs> Alrighty, Shadow. Um, Where's this code at? Uh, I shall put it on the table momentarily. I'm just releasing some more air the way I know how. <laughs> Let there be air! Do you want me to drop some oxide again? Should Wait. We put the gas mix in here. CO2 is down to 5.8%. Uh, mm, yeah, we might need some more air. Uh, I, oh. I've, I've almost got things set up downstairs so that I can do things like that. Oh. Okay. So if you click on edit, I shall walk you through the code. Alright, so starting at main. We've got checking uh, for external pressure and suit. Uh, you've got minimum temp check next to external pressure. What? Yeah, yeah, line yeah, 22. that's fine. So, in line 22, I say, if external pressure is lower than 125, jump to the minimal temperature check. Uh, okay. So only when the pressure is right, it will check the temperature. Otherwise, it will close the helmet and jump back to main to continue checking. Uh, okay, yep, yep, makes sense. Makes it's sense. basically a giant if statement. <laughs> yeah, it does seem to be that way. And then has to get through all of the steps to reach open. Indeed. Okay, cool. Uh, do you have one of these chips? Yes, I do. Uh, I do have one for everyone, actually. If we want to go outside. Do you have any dip, though? Well, can I try mine first? I, hmm. Err. I like some uh, dip with my chips. Here you go. Maybe a guacamole. Do I just put it in, or do I have to do something? Yeah, just put it in. Okay. Welcome. Maybe a Enjoy French onion stay. style dip. Welcome. Enjoy your stay. Welcome to your own suit. Um, I'm guessing the pressure in here isn't high, high enough for it to automatically open my helmet. No, it needs to be 50. Um, although you can try to open your helmet. Hang on. Oh, no. Oh. What the? The cat! No, you monster! Huh? What? You threw hey, the cat off the table. Yeah. Yeah. Works? It works. Ooh. Now, oh, for the, the real test. No. Let's go into the airlock. You coming in or are you going out, Tiffy? Huh? They're coming in. Uh, do we all want to be outside? I want, I want this yeah. fancy ship. Oh. You, you, you gotta. I. You want. You probably want me to test dummy at first. Fine. Yeah. Spitzy mm. is a bit of a dummy. All right. You guys ready? Watching my helmet. Yeah. yeah. And it oh. closed. Hey. Hooray! Success. I can't do dumb. Because helmet I'll be testing, does smart I'll be for me. Testing the fish ships again. <laughs> It's quite menacing. Um, <laughs> the eye falls. It's a super villain. Run away. Yeah. Oh, he's, cool. He stick his head through the door. It's horrific. I'll headbutt my way through. He's, <laughs> why does it look like a potato? <laughs> he's Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> How about, can I stick some but, uh, random bits to your head now? You can try. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh... <laughs> wow, his head looks almost the same color as his skull. It does too. But Capac, would you not like an automatic suit? Can you uh, see this, thing? Capac? Uh, I can see the inside of somebody's eyeballs. <laughs> it's TFE's skull's eyeballs. Well, that's gonna bother Shadow. Hmm. Well, there's one more thing that bothers me. So we're all getting the chips because Splits Just is worked. one. Well. If, if Shadow was going to kill anybody, it was going to be me. Fair point. So, I think, yeah, mm. we should be good. 
Right. Back inside. Like that. All right, back down to putting pipe up. Oh, wait, I finished the water pipe. Uh, now it's I need to the chips. figure out some way. Uh, like... I was hoping to get a cat bag one as well. If cat bag wants one at least. Sure, why not? Back? Nev, why oh. not? If I want to tap off some CO2 from the main tank into the greenhouse, um, what's the best way for me to do that? I presume I want a one-way valve so that anything that I've got some or something that acts as a one-way valve at least. Uh, but then what's the best way for me to control that? With a volume pump? Uh, well, what I was planning for the main atmosphere control is a volume pump controlled by a chip. It's yeah, a bunch of yeah. sensors. I just I need I need uh, to do something that's going to be volume pumps are reason reason volume pumps are reasonably fast. You can put a volume volume pumps are also one way valves just by yeah. by their thing. So you can put a volume pump in there and then turn it on or off manually to control the stuff. For yeah, them. that's what that's what I was thinking of doing initially. Just just so that I can get that CO two in there because we're kind of uh, a little bit. If you want to go go mad, you can even use a turbo volume pump, but it might be a bit expensive. I'm not sure what it costs. <laughs> no, I don't think that's required for what we're doing here. A normal <laughs> volume pump is probably fine. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I need it. Uh, I will go with the regular volume pump. Volume pump, and then I need to pass a couple of passive vents, and I'm good. Here you uh, go, TFE and Kappa. Kappa watching us menacingly. Here you go. He is a menace. Right. How do I put it in my mouth? No, you I, put it in your uh, suit. Open, insert, close. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Nev's not wrong. <laughs> oh, welcome. Enjoy your yep, doesn't look like mine's working. Blah, 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 blah. Supposed to do anything right now? I mean, oh, it's. Alright, it welcomed me. Yeah, it seems to be fine. Uh, okay, so what? So what happens if I open my oh, helmet oh, oh. now? Uh, well, it should automatically close theoretically. Pressure critical. Oh, are you sure that's something you want to try? Five, Doesn't uh, feel good. Four, oh. three, Wait, it's doing a three, countdown. One. System failure. Uh. What the? What's ah. that? Hey, I'm also getting a getting critical warning. What's going on? Uh, uh, feels bad, man. Uh, Run I'm away. I'm sprinting for the door. I was outside. Oh, Kapak fainted. Um, Did Kapak? Kapak? Uh, okay, if Kapak and Tia are having uh -oh. problems and I'm fine, what did they do wrong? No, I don't know, but my suit is also airlock. malfunctioning. I'm oh, I'm also uh -oh. fainting slowly. Oh, Nev, where are you? I'm trying to get into uh, the in airlock the of the room. greenhouse. I'm, I'm trying to get into the greenhouse I got in. airlock, but I'm going to fall over now. I'm cycling, but oh. Which direction? I've fallen oh, over. No. Oh, right. I'm in the airlock for the greenhouse, so it shouldn't be too bad, maybe? I think I cycled the airlock just in time. Uh, looks like it. It looks like the doors are about to open. Um, But I'm going to have to cycle the airlock so that I can come in and try and do something. Oh, I thought you were in the airlock. No. Oh no. No. I am. I am outside, and I am trying to go back in. Because I was, I was down underneath the greenhouse. I was starting to pressurize the bottom area. Because I got, I got the CO two. Oh. The like the. My, uh, my unconsciousness is improving. I think. I am cycling in. Nope. Tiff, uh, are you I'm inside? Back. I'm in the airlock. I appear to be back. Which airlock? I think. The main one, at the entrance. Oh, Capax. I'm, I'm, I'm slowly waking up as well. Capax upright. Nev's upright. The airlock is locked. Shadow is upright. Uh, I'm trapped right. in the airlock though. Oh. Oh yeah. You guys didn't die. What was I, that mean, panic I think for? my lungs have exploded. Uh. Oh yeah, oh. I have lung damage now. Ooh. Yeah, my lungs are. Uh... Um. Mm. Okay. So we don't have enough ta we don't have enough pills. You guys go jump in the cryopods, and as I've once I've grown enough pills, I'll get you out. Once you've grown Good enough idea. pills, well, I gotta grow the ferns. <laughs> I'm trapped to in make the airlock. The I can't get out. All right. Why are all the slots in the cabinet labeled shoes? I don't even have shoes. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did 
did oh. you do that, Kavak? Oh no, so this one one slot was labeled underwear. <laughs> ah, yes, all you need to go out in public. Underwear and three pairs of shoes. <laughs> oh, you missed the other two cabinets. There's underwear, shoes, uh, fascinators, and snoods. What is snoods? What? Uh, a snood is kind of like a scarf. It's like S N O O D, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, I think it's like a scarf, but it's like joined on the other end, so it's like a big ring. Yep. All right, Tiffy, put your tools away, and then put the stuff in the thing and get jump in the pod. Wait, no, see, why have you, you done this? You don't need to take your clothes off, no. man. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was the wrong button. <laughs> Just get in the death capsule. Alrighty. <laughs> I will attempt to revive you guys when I'm able to. Uh, hopefully it won't be too long. So there's all that and plenty more to come, and we will see you then. Catch you next time, everybody. Uh, or, or yeah. not. Have a good one. <laughs> Alright, Kavak, before when you were asking about the frames, um, Oh, the game just crashed. What? That's the main thing I care about. Game crashed. You should just go mine. It's crashed again. Oh. Okay. Well, e wait, wrong game. Steel frames and the game crashed. Oh, right as I was running out of oxygen, I was starting to run out of air. That was kind of, that was temporary. Mm-hmm. Game crashed. Are you hearing that alarm? Game crashed. To be fair, I did add comments to the code, so. Game crashed. 30 pascals, it's almost empty. Game just crashed. No. Game crashed. <laughs> uh. oh, nope. Game it's crashed. Just closed. Alright, I have. Oh, the game just crashed. There you go. About to open. No, the game crashed. <laughs>